Okay, reverse bird. See, now that I say I've done it, I'm drawing a blank as how to get uh -huh. into it. You want to stand over here towards okay. my head? Facing your feet, yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to bring my feet up here on the hips. Come up. Notice that hand there. Okay. They're with you the whole time. Good, you can do that too, the brace. And a common mistake is the flyers will give a little too much, I think, uh, gas this way. So yeah. sure, I'm sorry, bases will bring too much gas, so make sure to ease it off this way a bit. Because you don't want to fall forward this way, because it's high. Okay, it's even hard to brace with your hands, that's why we want to do a belly base before we do it at this height. Um, but we'll go ahead and break down the feet position. So you know exactly where it fits on the, uh, the legs there. Okay. So watch my feet. I have to get my feet high enough to where my toes aim towards the lower leg here. Okay. Because the, the, the point is to get your center of gravity right on the either the balls of the feet or the middle of the foot. So I'm trying to find your hip bone right on the balls of my feet. That means mm -hmm. my toes need to That's be a little funny. lower. There. She's leaning in. I'm going to receive her weight first. And then I'll push up. My hands are constantly straight. They're not in bird hands. They're lower like this because I need to give her that support. And then notice what Sammy's doing. She's just bracing my calves and push off of it. That's another good idea. Like that. And your job as a base is not to go too far that way. So right. for this one, this is uh, the reverse of bird. I usually teach watch out for going too far this way. But you're a reverse bird now. That means the dangerous fall is that way more towards the head. So keep your legs a little more this way as the base. And keep your hands up so that the flyer can push off up if she needs to. And keep your legs a little more this way, even beyond 90, because if she falls this way, it's just on her feet. So be really mindful not to fall forward. Okay. And bring your toes as the base. Bring your toes back this way. Yeah, do that on purpose at first, so that if she tilts down this way, she's just going to fall on her feet. So keep on the air of caution on this side. We set you down, and then we'll demonstrate what it looks like on a belly base. So again, always try on the belly base first. Feel super confident. Let's have you down on the belly base. I'm have you fly. Okay. Down here. We got it. Yes, yes, kind of what I asked. So I think this is bird, is it not? Yeah. Is this bird? I think this is bird. Reverse bird means you face me. Oh. Because <laughs> now you know it feels different. Oh, okay. turn around because the it's all uh, opposite it's of the belly be base the heels. exactly okay you have to see, feel what it feels like on the heels gotcha it's a little different than on the uh, <laughs> toes yeah I'm a little confused as to how to get into this the height yeah do, well, do, do, do. you put your hands in my back oh, okay and then um oh, set okay. your it feels good that feels about right <laughs> that's interesting these are such silly poses i love them that's <laughs> And it's silliness, it also teaches you what it feels like to be balanced in the reverse direction here. Yeah. I'm glad you said silly because I'm trying really hard yeah. not to grab not to, your ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so if she falls down, she can just simply come fall down. I feel really comfortable what it feels like to fall. Um, that and also try regular bird because regular bird feels in a way, it doesn't feel the same way with the feet, but it feels how it feels like when you're falling away from your base when they you don't have any the base won't be able to protect you where it's just you bracing your own fall. So when I fall out of may I fly on you please? Mm -hmm. when, I, when I fall out of reverse bird. Belly down? No, uh regular. Um, yeah. When I fall out of this, I try not to fall, I just timber forward and brace with my hand. That's a lot of that's a lot of height. You know? Yeah. When when I fall out of this if I feel like I'm going too far forward, I simply go to the side, bring my feet down first before my face. I'm not going straight ahead, I'm growing to the side. It's much easier to land if you get legs along too, so it's good to bring your legs down first before you're, you're just yes. tumbling hands forward, especially from this height, which is not always safe for you to cling um, without mats or without spotter. It's better to roll out to the side and bring your feet down. So again, practice that on a belly base first. 